Okay, this video will be showing you an ODBC, uh, basically how to connect, uh, not how to connect a uh, ODBC to a server, but to understand which ODBC that you should be using. There's two different pipes, there's a 32 and a 64 bit, and a lot of the 64 computers now do not actually uh, have a uh, representation that they are going to the 64 or the 32 to, to understand that you just want to go to the control panel and check your admin tools and under admin tools you can go to your data source your ODBC and then right click it when you right click you have go to properties and this right here is a 64-bit computer, but it's actually pointing to a 32-bit ODBC. So if I were to go to my actual um, ODBC for my SysWow, which is the SysWow folder, is the, actually going to be the 64-bit version. So under that, you want to go to uh, Windows, SysWow, 64, and then you want to go down all the way to where you have your ODBC. So right here, ODBC. Now, if you look at this path, and you look at this path, it's completely different. So to understand that, if I were to edit this path, and if I were to just open this up and edit this path, and add my server, SQL Server to this, then once I prompted it, it would not work because it's currently pointed to this direction. So that is incorrect because if, if I wanted it to point to the correct direction, I would actually point, take this, copy it over and then merely just right here replace it and then when I replace it it will go to the correct correct spot so now when I if I were to open up this right here it would go directly to this source right here so and that's understanding the, the basics of a lot of systems nowadays have a 64-bit uh, SQL Server or a DNS that you need to connect to uh, through your data source and you your most of your computers are set up for um, a default of 32-bit which 32-bit can be fine if you're using that but a lot of your your database sources nowadays are are going to be a 64-bit so in, like I said in order to do that you can go to your control panel and just go to the administrative tools and find open it up right there and find exactly where it's at now there is a uh, there is a location for the 32-bit version which I want to say is in the pretty much in the same location or close to it it's actually the 32-bit folder instead of the syswow folder and then you go to the same thing your ODBC and Again, that would be the OD, ODBC that it was pointing to before in the 32-bit. So you see the difference right there is one's pointing to the SysWow if it's a 64-bit. The other is pointing to a 32-bit system. So it's important to understand that there's a 32-bit uh, ODBC and that there's
there's a 64 bit. So in order to line those up properly, you want to make sure your shortcuts are lined up properly in your operating system. So this is the standard operating system that you know the Windows is going to have. So um, basically, I'm I'm going straight to my control panel. I'm going straight to all um, all control panel items, and then I'm going to administrative tools, and then I'm looking directly at my data source. So when I pop that open, now I can properly add my uh, my DNS or my data source. That so I can actually do whatever I need to with the SQL Server or, or uh, maybe maybe you're, you're doing some kind of database tracking or anything you want to do now it will properly work okay thank you for watching this video and uh, I hope that helps you understand about uh, how to direct your ODBC to the